Hello and welcome to our short video how we set up our IP respecto system in combination with measure, measure color. So the first step is we will adjust or set up our measure color client. So for that we log in. We create a new job. Use the, the job number we need to find the correct job. We have, yeah, use just the, this job. We could also edit the job name if you want to, but we continue just. Then we check in the printing condition. Everything is good, correct color. We can jump to the next page. And we use, we adjust the correct color bar and also the order of our color, order of placement. So, and then it's just fine. Everything is good. We step, go to the next step. And now we send all the information to the IPQ center system. So we can now jump to our IPQ center system, open our job menu and see here we have some new job, which is marked with this red pen here. So we can go inside of our edit mode. We give in the format width and also the repeat lens. And then the operator choose the correct print type. It's not reverse print. We can confirm it and load in the job and press OK. And now we jump into our production site and set up the system. So we're looking now for the print control stripe on our format. Set up everything with the help of our spot camera. So that we have the correct position. So, and then we can just start the inspection. And just have a look to our result side to see, okay, which, how many measurements we have already done. So we see substrate was measured also red was measured. So for that reason, we can jump back now to our client for measure color. And it shows us new measurement ready for import. So we will import the first data. And we see the sensor has not fulfilled all measurings on all patches. So we can reset the strip and checking till we get new values for the import. So we can push import again and see only one last patch is missing so one last time should be we can reset the strip we can import everything and now everything is fine we can now finish this process and can continue with that we save every setting and then we just out activating auto import and then you can just waiting, then the window will show up with importing file from our system. And we can now also have checking different kinds of color, the different patches. So in our case, everything looks good. Otherwise we will see here in the advice from measure color, what should be done if the color is not okay. And now we can have a look here is importing the files. So, and yeah. And now we can check everything, looking as everything's fine. Wait until the next measuring. So, and then for example, we can also make ready. So we're going into production. And now we just continuously uh, importing the, the data to the measure color client. And now, the our system is just measuring the whole time. Just have a short look back. We can also check in the results here on our page, but you will have the overview all over it here in measure color. And yeah, that's all. That's everything which is important for the setup and what you must do for that. All right, thank you very much for your attention and this is also the end of the video.